I didn't get to see this yesterday, but here we are today. Ta-da! The RV is in its final home. Final home? New home? Oh yeah. Slightly worried that that stereo would hit, but when the RV showed up, because I was worried because I hadn't measured the RV. Looks like I had nothing to worry about. Tons of room to spare. You can easily walk down even with this baby completely full. So yeah, just imagine the truck here and you have plenty of room. <laughs> it's pretty dark in here, huh? Oh, siesta. You can take a siesta now. Awesome. Now I just gotta get some heat in this concrete floor. Uh, still got lots of uh, stuff to put away. Not too bad. I guess that's what I'll do first. So there's still quite a bit of snow on the ground here, but the vast majority is melted because I was planning on getting to those can lights here. I think, I think I could... That's like solid rock. <laughs> I'll take a minute here and figure out where these lights are gonna go and how many I'm gonna put. I'm thinking maybe five can lights and just equally spaced, the outside ones being right up in the, the corner and right up over in that corner too. And then they would be about 16 feet or so in between each of them. And that way when you're outside, when you want the lights on, it should give a pretty even light. One concern was just, I, I didn't know if having light shining from the soffits into the house would be a problem. If it's a problem, just turn them off. <laughs> I'd rather, I guess, when you, when you want the lights on, I'd rather them provide the light you need. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Five, four inch can lights, and I'll wire them up, hopefully be able to turn them on tonight. That's the goal. Oh, there goes a, a Navy jet. Right through the tops of the trees there. He's about to come out in the open. We see a lot of those guys. Oh, it's freaking the deer out too. I'll go get all the materials and start laying it out. Part and looked at it. So what I bought is four inch retrofit can lights. It's gonna be really hard to get up in there and secure things. Normal style would have like wings to go out to attach to the bottom trusses or just the ceiling or the floor joists. So the stuff I got was I got a bunch of those can lights. These are all the black light bulbs. I got a jigsaw and I had had this wire, but it's indoor only, dry location only. So I'm going to be using this exterior 12-2. Good time to show you this. When I did the soffits, I stretched uh, insect screen across the whole thing first and sealed it around the edges really well and then just nailed my boards on. So when I put my can lights in, I got a pretty clean cut here. I'm just gonna put some some caulk right there and on this side. Keep any insects, that's like the only way they can get in is right through these two cracks. So I'm gonna put some clear sealant right up in there and just completely fill these cracks. And I'll put the can in and that should be good. These are sealed cans, so nothing can get up through them. One down, four to go. Keep smacking my head on this thing. So I think you can see that. 
works. And I also, oh yeah, well, you can see the sealant here and the sealant there. I'll stick you up in there. See if you can see anything. But I also went all the way around and I got in there and sealed the screen down to the wood. So I don't think any bugs will be able to get up in there. Fish some wire over here. See if I can get it from this hole to the inside. I was thinking earlier, if I did four, they would be 16 feet apart, but if I do five, they'll be more like 12 feet apart, which I think is good. I don't know. I did a quick search, Google search, and all I could find was six feet, every six feet, and that's just way too many. So every 12, we'll put one in the middle, and then one in between each, each in the middle. Seems good to me. It'll light up this whole deck nice. I mean, this deck is, it's almost 60 feet from this end to that end. So much packaging. Okay. And these things, they seem to be made for like half inch material or maybe three quarter, but they sure don't want to go on the one inch. I got one inch thick cedar up there. Instead of just been screwing them in and then taping over, taping over with this tape, the slots that are left, just to give them an air seal. Although I think these cover well enough that, that I'm gonna do it anyway. wire clamp, whatever you want to call it. And this thing, the cover. Okay, now I'll caulk. I need two wire clamps since I have two wires. Duh. like that.
the air barrier, I'm gonna nail the one by twos on right here, and then the half inch OSB will come, and there'll just be a little half inch gap that'll make like a nice corner that I could just run a bead of caulk in to get a good seal. And you can see how if I didn't have access to these bays, I would really be in trouble when it came to trying to run this wire. Because I'd have to be kind of going, I don't know if you can see, but I gotta go up and over these uh, ribs. It would just be a, a real nightmare to try to go over all the right amount and then down into the right one. Anyways, I'll stop banging this around. I think you got the idea. Hey, last wires. It's easier. This helps. You kind of, you know, you dive in right at where the ground is, and you just, it's not hard to force it through. And pull it. And pull about four or five inches out. And I cut from the middle so that I'm on the ground. So I'm not marring the neutral. Definitely not as easy as Romex. Oh, hey, dear. They're just constantly here. That looks like a success. It lights this corner really nicely. You can't see yet, but I'll come back at night and we'll take a look at how it's lighting up the house. See, once these trees are cut down, they'll have just a fantastic view. Beautiful sunsets. And then in the morning, once we trim this tree a little bit more, they have fantastic sunrises. Pretty spoiled. Anyways, next time, uh, I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. Probably get back to the doors. And then, uh, and then maybe start on the air barrier, or, I don't know, we'll see. I can start on the air barrier and do this side, this half of the roof. The other, uh, lights that go in over here, probably just put in three, maybe four. That snow may or may not be in the way here. Probably be able to get a ladder in here and get up and do the same thing on this side. But it definitely won't be as easy as the other side. Oh well. Wow. Probably can't tell with all those trees, but it's going to be something. Oh, it's perfect. I love it. I probably thought it was going to look. Oh, wow. Wow, Excellent. that's nice. It's such a beautiful glow. It's way better than it looked in the Dude. twilight. Oh, twilight. <laughs> wow, that's perfect. Wow, oh, it's perfectly even light. It lights the whole... Yeah, and then if you put the landscape lighting out there. Lights? New lights.